Hello, this is kind of a a different kind of video. I'm actually doing this video because I made this shell of a mini album for somebody that contacted me and just wanted me to create the shell so they could decorate it, which I have done that in the past. I've created blank, you know, the blank mini albums for sale. And you can purchase them and then put them together yourself if you like to do that. Um, I kind of just create them when I do. If you are interested like she did, I don't always have them listed. You can call me and I can whip one, or email me or contact me through my Etsy store, which I will have a link to that in the description box and my email. You're better off to email me for a quicker response. But anyways, I try not to make this too wordy. But anyways, Robin, this video is for you. I wanted to do this because she's getting this blank and it's this one is very... Um, intricate. I actually, let me give you the story. She can revert back to this video then when she has this and n know what I'm talking about to put it together. So if you're not interested in this, you can tune off to this video, but if you are, go ahead and watch it. And if you're interested, I will create some for you. Prices do vary depending on size, how intricate you want them. Usually for a basic shell that's not too many flips or something, I start around $40. Um, this one's a little more intricate. But anyways, she had wanted me to create a mini album, or you. Hi, hi, Robin. But anyways, from a previous mini album that I did, gosh, a couple years ago. Um, like I said, I don't write nothing down. I create as I go. I have no idea what it's going to turn out like. I just make each page as I go. So I couldn't recreate that for her. I don't have it anymore. I've sold it. So then she saw a video of the one that I just recently did, which was this one. Um, that is still for sale. If you're interested, go flip through my videos, my more recent videos. But so I was able then to duplicate, not exactly because she wanted a different size and she also added more pages. But anyway, so I look through that and just recreated but anyways let's get started I'm gonna show you it's going to come to you like this and um, this is the shell and like I said the pages are separate because you can add your decorative paper because you need to cut and measure and then you will glue each of those pages onto the pages that are in this book. So let me get rid of this box, but I want to do this video so you can see when you get this in the mail and kind of know ahead of time before you take it apart and then you're like, oh my gosh, what goes where? So all the pages are here. I rubber band them all together. Um, like I said, this is a different size than that, but the pages are going to be similar. So what she is getting or what you are getting is the blank shell that's all wrapped in paper and this one's eight by eight. I normally don't do eight by eight. That one was a five by seven, I think. I don't know. So this is eight and a half by eight and a half, and then the pages are eight by eight. So here's the blank shell. The front, I rubber band this so these will stay. I kind of marked with pencil where you can see where to position these. Your decorative paper is going to cover that. I can't attach these because your decorative paper needs to go down, and then you need to attach these on top of your decorative paper. So this first goes there. You will place your... She didn't want the magnets, but I'm t I told her where to place them. So a magnet will go... This will glue... You'll, I, you'll put a magnet somewhere here. Attach it. Your decorative paper will be here, but you're going to center this. And then this will be for photos. This little one, you'll put the magnet on the front and your decorative paper over it and then glue this right on top of that after you have your decorative paper. So you're going to have, um, it'll open like this and I usually attach ribbon so you could pull it open. So your magnet will be here and then on that back and it'll attach all these pages. So this will open, this will be, um, this will remain glued onto here and it'll just frame around but then this will open like this. Do you see what I'm saying? And then this will be attached down. So you'll have a picture here, picture here. This will frame out 
and your picture will go here because it has to be glued on and then that so it'll be like a booklet so I attached the rubber band so it'll stay there but know that the X's are marked in there and that will go on there like that so then what you'll do with each of these pages after you've decorated them and I wrote you a little note so she's there you're getting 10 then here's so here's the pages that you're going to glue your pages onto. So you'll glue one on this side, one on this side, and then the pocket, of course, with the blank photo mat in the middle. So what I do, each page, and I put on there... Why do I have that turn? Oh. So I wrote on the back that says the top, the bottom, and on the back I'll put the last magnet. So a magnet will go here on this little flap on the inside you'll glue a magnet here you'll close it and then you'll turn it over to the very back and then drop your magnet so you'll know where to put the glue where it sticks to find the mate okay so top when I'm done decorating my whole paper then I don't know how you're gonna attach it but how I do mine is I use my score tape and I also use fabric tack this is the best glue. It doesn't warp your paper. So I will tape all around the edges. You don't have to do this, but this is how I do it. You will tape all around the edges of the back of this, and then I put the glue all in the middle between that. I do the edges with the tape because it gives it a good, it's not going to lift up. So then when your decorative paper's on, you're going to line it up and glue it right on. It's the same size and then press all your edges and then that's how you'll get your page and then vice versa the next page that I created you'll tape it you can see where I taped that just to kind of show you and then and I did put top or bottom so this is the top of the album and the bottom so you know which way the pages go and then you can choose how you want to put them in there you'll glue them on there and then that makes your whole page so see so these are going to come to you all like this. You can put them in any order you want or refer back to that other mini album to see what order I had them in. So, let's show you the first The first page will be like, well, the first page, it's going to go like this. So the top is listed on the back here, the bottom here. It opens this way. This will magnetize to hold these pages down. And then I just die cut so it'll open, open, open for your photos, and then close. And like I said, you'll tape that around, have your magnet, and it'll glue on there and make a page. So that's that. And then there's this one. These, these two pages right here are the two extras that were not in the book that I just had to come up with. But So you'll have a magnet on the back. This is the bottom of the page, the top of the page. And you can either put it on this side or this side. It doesn't matter. So here's a page with the cutout. You can put a large picture. You'll place your magnet. Not necessarily where I put the circle, but I, you know, it's showing you placement. Plop a magnet there. It's going to seal that down, and then you're going to flip it over, and you're going to drop the magnet so it attaches. You'll know it'll stick, and you'll know to glue it. Okay, so that's that page. There's no pocket inside there. And they're all going to come stacked in rubber band like I showed you. So then, now these, the rest of these are from the book. So this is the top. Is listed top and bottom, so it's going to open this way. And on this one, I didn't use mag, I don't use magnets on this one in my book. But I do take two pieces of ribbon for the ribbon closure and you'll glue the you know you'll make it really long and you'll glue like that much of it on the back on each side I showed you where to glue it and then you'll bring it up and over and that's what you're gonna use it for the tie closure so these two flaps open and then this flap will open and then you'll have the the center so that's that stack it there now I had to paper clip some of these because I can't glue all these pockets on because you won't be able to put your decorative paper on, so it has to come like this. So, let's start. How did this go? This is, it goes like this. So this is the top, you'll see it on the back, and this is the bottom. It'll, I'm going to 
move this out of the way so you can see better. And I dropped everything. All right, so this is going to be the last page I just showed you where the ribbon closure was, was this page. So see how I attached the ribbon to the back? And that's like that. And there's mine. I added photo mats. You can do the same. And then that lifts up. So that was the page I just showed you that opened that way. That's how you do that if you don't know what I'm talking about. Um, the page I'm showing you now is this page. Of course, yours are different sizes because your book is bigger. So that pocket glues on top of that designer paper. The photo mat's in there. This lifts up. My magnet is under here. And then I have these two pockets where you'll glue your pocket after you've put your decorative paper. You'll glue your pockets on top of your decorative paper there. Okay, so let me show you now. Make sure I'm recording. So I attached with paper clips because, of course, they're not magnetized. So that's the front. I tucked the photo mat in. The pockets are already um, got the tape around it for you, so you just have to peel off the tape after you put your decorative paper on here. And I showed you kind of with little tick marks where to place this. Then you'll um, peel off the tape and stick it down on top of there, like so. And then your photo mat will slide in there. Okay, so I have the paper clips for you. Then this lifts up. This is where you're going to put the magnet to seal this down. And of course, it's black, so it's hard to see. Here's the photo mats. But here's the, um, you're going to glue your, I put these on with a paper clip where they should go just so you're not going to get this and not know. So these are the little pockets. The tape is on there. You just need to peel it off and it makes the pocket. Glue your decorative paper down on top of this and then you'll glue these on top of your decorative paper. I have the tick marks to show you where to place them. And the same thing with this one. I don't want to take the paper clips off. but And then your photo mats will tuck down in like so. So that is how that is going to come to you. Like I said, I'm, this is, I know once you get it, you'll be like, what? So that's why I'm doing this video. Let me attach this. But you can, you'll have fun to create this all yourself. So that's that. Then there's this page, which goes like this. So this is the top, this is the bottom. And that is this one. So you're going to have the photo book go in the pocket. Your magnet will go here to close over. And then this flips down. And then the pocket with your photo mats. And then this little booklet tucks in there. So on that one, here we go. Couldn't attach these because you're going to put your decorative paper. This is your photo booklet. You could decorate it with paper. The pocket's paper clipped down. Let me take off the paper clips. So here's your pocket. It's going to get placed right here after your decorative paper is down and then your photo booklet will tuck in there. The tape's already on there. You just need to peel the tape off and place it. This will open this way. Your magnet's going to go here. You're going to close it back up after you put the magnet. You're going to turn it over to the very crappy back that's going to be glued down and drop your magnet so it attaches and then glue it there. And then it'll be magnetized for you. So that's the front of that. So that opens. That's put your decorative paper right over your magnet. This flips down and then your decorative paper, two photo mats, and it says right here, attach, po I kind of label them pocket A, pocket A. They're not in any order, just wherever it's titled. And then you'll glue this little pocket down like that. 
not glue, but it's already taped for you. You can add a little bit of glue. I only use this glue, so. So that is that page. You don't need a magnet here because this is already going to hold it down. When you open it, it, you don't need it. But that's your preference. So I'm paper clipping all these back together for you so they don't come apart and you're like, what in the heck is this? <clears throat> of course, I probably... There and there. So that'll be that one. What's the next one? And they're not in any order. You can put them in any order you want. So I have this one as, I wrote spine on here because this one's going to butt up against, when I say the spine, that means that way. And then this is the outer, which is the edge of your book. So what page is this? I don't even know. It's this one, but only it's a bigger version. So here I was where, okay, cut out on me. Here's where I put the flip. This is not a pocket. I just attached lace and stuck some tags in. You can do what you want. And then, so that lifts, uh, that lifts up. This lifts open, mat and a pocket there. So here it goes. There is where you'll attach your magnet on the front. This will flip open this way. Like that. And then you will attach your the photo mats are in there. This is really hard. And then again your pocket will go down here. So that will close up. That's the front. And on this one, yeah. So that page. This is the page that I didn't do a pocket. I just put lace and tucked something in there. Your magnet goes there, closes, and then your magnet goes on the back. So that was that page. Um, this, top and bottom, and I did two of these pages in this book, which are going to be it's this page. So now I'm showing you this page. See how this opens? This opens this way. And then this is not magnetized or nothing. It's but it's holding the photo mats in in there and you can use that as a journal or a flip, but that holds it down. So, that's this page. You open open the photo mats tuck in there. I didn't put the magnet. Your magnet should go here. Let me... Magnet. And then magnet on the back. Okay, then I think that this is this page right here. So here's your top, bottom on mine when it's all decorated. This goes up. My magnet is under this flap right there. And then these open. And again, this is loose to journal or put a little picture in the photo mats. So that closes, that closes. And then this closes. And this magnet holds it down. I purposely don't have it coming all the way down because I want the little, the little lit, I put the ribbon so you're not bending your paper and I decorate with lace and you can put a big flower or something. So here we go. That, 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 and your mats get tucked in there. This will close up and your magnet goes there and closes it down. Okay? And again, top, bottom. So you know how to glue it in the book. All right, this page was an extra page. No, it's not. It's my front page. 
So this is this page. This opens this way. You're going to put your magnet here, close it, turn it over to the very back, and place your magnet there. And then these two open up. Attach this pocket after you decorate your paper right there, and your photo mats go in there. And as you see, my magnet is in there. I open it this way, and these two lift up, and then I have the photo mats, my pockets attached down here on top of my decorative paper. So, and then if you see how I did this, you'll when you do the cover, I just glued my paper. This one I did down. I had yours going center because it's bigger. So you're going to glue that on top of your paper. And I gave you an extra one because the album is much bigger and it just needed more. So, all right, now we have this final page. And this, uh, this time, this is the top, so it's opening this way. So that is this page. And I glued a flower down so you could lift it up. And then the photo mats just sit inside. So there you go, right there. This one I put the magnet for you so you can see how I do it. I tape it, it closes, flip it over, and it's in the exact spot in the back. And it will hold your paper. Now these thicken up after you put all your decorative paper. They're thin now because nothing's supporting it or on top of it. All right, so there it is. I hope you like it. Um... And if anybody else wants a custom shell that you can do yourself, the price does vary depending on what you want. So just know that. And it is a little more expensive doing it this way for you to create than when you get my whole book. I know it doesn't make sense, but I create to create for my own fun and pleasure what I have. And when I have to make a blank one and it's detailed, that's not fun for me. Not that it's not fun. I still like to create, but I don't get to do the fun part of it. So um, it's not that much cheaper for you to do it that way. But anyways, all right, I hope you like that. Um, Robin, I hope those instructions help you. I would love to see pictures of the book when you get it all done. And um, it's going to get mailed out to you. Have fun. All right, bye. And like I said, if, you're, if anybody else out there is interested in getting a a shell, even if I don't have the videos up or anything, feel free to contact me like she did because I'll be happy to do it for you. Thanks. Bye-bye.